Hello and welcome to Data Research Labs. For this tutorial, we're going to discuss how to compare table schemas using simple SQL Server scripts. Have you ever been in this situation where you need to do troubleshooting? Your boss says, the application just crashed. Quick, go fix it. And you got to go fix it. But to fix it, you first need to find it. And you think to yourself, ugh, somebody changed something somewhere, but what and where? And then after an hour of misdirected troubleshooting and rabbit holes that you fall down, you discover the root cause. Somebody ran a script that reduced the size of two varcar fields from 20 and 25 down to 15 and 15. So the tables changed. That was the root cause. Or maybe you've been in this situation trying to figure out how to test. So your project manager says, well, the good news is Project X is finally ready to deploy to stage. And you say, that's great. And then the project manager says, well, the bad news is we're not sure everything was properly managed through source control for the release. Uh-oh, you think to yourself. And then the ugly news. Project manager says, you'll need to compare against dev and test environments to check for any missing elements that didn't make it out to stage. <laughs> some specific examples of table schema comparisons where you take schema snapshots, drop them to text files, and then compare either over time or against different instances are as follows. Number one, environments. Maybe you want to compare dev to stage or stage to prod. Number two, versions, releases. Maybe you want to comp compare the current versus prior schemas. Number three, events. Maybe you have a data refresh that occurs on weekends. Maybe you have some other schedule change and you want to compare before versus after schemas. And finally, number four, history. Maybe you want to automate taking daily schema snapshots by running the script or scheduling it to run and output the results to a text file. And that way you can have, say, 60 days of historical snapshots. And any of those days can be your before versus after when you do your comparisons to try and troubleshoot a problem. One quick caveat. This script is limited to tables and views only. And although I've built tools that compare all elements, like when test gears MS SQL diff merge that I built about 10 years ago, the decision was made not to do so here because 80% of the time, the root cause is in the tables and keys. So we just keep things simple by avoiding functions and sort procedures and triggers and all the other things we could go into. And 80% of the time, this is important, the average user lacks permissions to go deeper into the sort procedures and stuff anyway. So we're just keeping it simple, going for the Pareto principle, covering what 80% of the need is with simple scripts. So how do you run the scripts to compare, for example, environments? Well, the process looks something like this. First, you start out with the simple schema dump script. And we're going to see where to download that in a minute from GitHub. And then you run that against that script against the database. In this case, we're going to run it against dev. And then we output the results of the script to a text file. So then we have a dev schema snapshot the table, the field names, field sizes, all that good stuff in a text file. Then we run the script again, but this time against stage. And we output it again, but this time against the stage snapshot. And then you use your favorite text diffing utility, and you compare the two text files, and you get a side-by-side -side comparison that quickly identifies, hey, here's the few areas that are different. How do you run the script to compare against history? Well, the process looks something like this. You start out with the same simple schema dump script. You run it on day one, get a snapshot. Run it again on day two, get a snapshot. Day three, get a snapshot. Day four, get a snapshot. And then on day five, you run it and get a snapshot. The text file, but an event happens. And you want to know, oh, I want to compare day five against day one. Use your text diffing tool. Load up the text file for both days and compare. And you'll quickly identify any elements that are different and the demo for downloading the script for SQL Server. First, we're going to go to github.com slash data research labs, all one word. Hit enter. You're going to have to find the SQL scripts. So find that folder and then go to the MS SQL schema diff. Right now, it's just one link, but later as I add more folders, you'll have to go to MS SQL and then schema diff. And then once you get to that, here's the schema, simple schema dump, and you can download it or I'm just going to click into it click raw, click into the file, control A, control C, there, now I have it copied and I can paste it to a text file. So that's how you download the script. And the demo for capturing schema snapshots in SQL Server. So I'm using SQL Server Management Studio and I set up the AdventureWorks database. It has a bunch of tables and some views. The script is going to analyze both tables and views, so it's good to have both represented. And I have the script downloaded and set up here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit F5 to run the script. Oh, 
Uh, the only thing you change in the script is the use statement. And so I'm going to use the database right there. If you want to run against a different database, change it. It'll run one database at a time. And you don't have to change anything below that in the script. It'll all self-adjust. So here we go. F5 to run. And it's done. <coughs> and it has the schema name. Doesn't repeat. Gives you white space. It has the table name. Doesn't repeat. Gives you white space. It has the object type. Table name, parentheses, sorts at the top, a bunch of information about the columns, name of the columns, the ordinal position of the column, data type and size, and whether or not it's nullable. Then there's two indexes on this table. It gives you the name of the index and all of the columns in the order as the next table, and so on, all the way down to the end. So that is how you capture a schema, and you could run it against this database on dev, run it against the same database on stage, and then compare the outputs. Or you can take and run this script, save it off with today's date. Tomorrow, run the script, save it off with that date. So that's how you use it. So I'm gonna take, you basically save the results out and then you can compare them and that'll be the next demo. So here I'm just saving it out with the name and with the date extension, click save and it's saved as a CSV file. And the final demo for how to compare the schema snapshots. First, you'll need a text diffing tool. Uh, my favorite is Source Gear Diff Merge. Just look that up in Google. Click Source Gear Diff Merge, the download. The top one here, Diff Merge Source Gear, click that. And then right there, download now, follow the instructions, and you'll have it. You'll see what that looks like in a minute. Alternatively, I also like uh, Presto Soft uh, Exam Diff is another good one. Not the pro, but the base version. And the top one there, exam diff for your visual component, click that, scroll down, there's your download. Not the pro, that'll cost you money, has extra features, just the regular download. So either of those will work great, and I re highly recommend both of them. Okay, now that we have the diffing tool out of the way, we're going to actually go demo how to compare the schema snapshots. So here I have a CSV file that is the results of running the script in. SSMS, SQL Man Server Management Studio, yesterday, and then here's a run today. To compare them, just click the first one, hold down the control key, click the second one. I'm in Windows Explorer. And diff merge, I like it because from Windows File Explorer, you just highlight those two files, right click, diff merge. The first time you run diff merge, it'll add these in, this uh, men pop-up menu item to Windows File Explorer. And from here, I can choose what I want. And I want the lower one because I want the older file on the left. That's my baseline snapshot. And I want the newer file on the right. So I just click that, okay? And then I get my nice side-by-side -side screenshot. And so up at the top here on the left, I can see that there's four blocks of changes in the schema. I can see Adventure Works, Address is the table, all the columns are fine. But I get down here to the index, and the name of the index had city, state, province added. And if I scroll to the right, the uh, string aggregate function that does a comma delimited list and pivots the column names for the index. Right here I have four columns in the index, but over here on the newer snapshot, I have six because I've inserted in city and state province. So you can quickly identify what happened to a table. Index had the name change and two columns added. Scrolling down to the next change, I'm looking for the pink. It's kind of hard to see, but the whole row is a very light pink, and then it's a darker pink background for the actual change. So I went from a NVAR car 35 to an NVAR car 25. And down here, there's a whole block of changes that you see. No dark pinks, but the dark pink is over to the right. It went from a VAR car 50 to an NVAR car 50 on all those columns. And that's the extent of the changes. And that is how use a text diffing tool after having dumped the schemas to text files and quickly isolate what changed in the schemas. Wow, you're still watching. Thank you. And bonus tip for you. This script uses the information schema. And here on Wikipedia, why that matters, those information schema views are ANSI standard. And that means they're universal. And that means that it's cross-platform with light syntactical changes you can use these scripts in Oracle, SQL Server, MySQL, Sybase, and PostgreSQL. And all those platforms have tables and views, so it's not much change. If you want to on your own, you can go deeper into the information schema views, and different platforms will have different elements, but you can go from there. Anyway, information schema views, pretty neat. Thank you for watching, and please, if you found this video helpful, click like and subscribe. 
Also check out our other videos and related playlists in the boxes to the right.